Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I wanted to uh, explain a little bit more about the Arhu bow. My nut was getting old. The, the frog in the nut had stripped out so that it wasn't holding tension. I purchased a new bow and then as I was getting ready to toss the old bow, toss it, throw it in the trash, I decided that maybe I could rebuild the bow and I wanted to do this for the experience. So what I did was I went ahead and went online, ordered a new frog and nut. But this time with the Arhu bows, you can have a hook on it where you will hook the horse hair to the frog. This prevents you from having to unscrew and rescrew the nut, causing it like mine to strip out. These are the pieces that I purchased and also found to use. I have the stick, the bamboo stick that originally was with the bow. I got a piece of wire because I knew that the, so I knew I was going to have to have some stoutness to the place where it hooks on to the frog. I have the frog in the knot, then two tubes. I'm going to use these tubes. One is going to be for the hook to hook the hook around the frog and the other one is going to be where the horse hair goes up through the tube and connects to the piece that hooks to the frog. I have the horse hair I ordered uh, online. It is Mongolian horse hair which is uh, the Mongol with the difference between uh, horse hair uh, violin bows and Mongolian is most bows use the tail of the horse Whereas the Mongolians often use the mane of the horse. And then I have my Jinquin string. So first, I disconnect the string, the horse hair, from the frog and get ready to disconnect it from the end of the bow. Then I cut the string that holds the horse hair to the tip of the bow. And this will uh, release the horse hair. And then I cut the knots off so that I can get the horse hair off the bow. These are the old pieces, the stripped out nut and frog, and then the, the string that was holding the horse hair to the bow. And this is the, uh, the remains of the bow stick, um, the bamboo stick where the uh, mouse would go. I wanted to show where the frog would go up into the, the bow, the bamboo bow, and also the nut, the nut would come in from the end where the frog would fit up in the little slot so that they would connect and hold. This is the other end of the bow. And this is where the horse hair is gonna go up through, fold over and be attached on the far end of the bow. First, I take the, the frog and put it up into the bamboo slot of the bow and put the nut in the end and fasten it down, not too tight because I, I want to have room for play for the horse hair once I get it connected. Here is where I'm running the horse hair through the tip of the bow. The part here with the, the black string on the end is actually going to be the part that connects to the frog. But the other end of the string is loose and frail and it would be hard to, to string. So I use this end put it through and pull the string all the way through the bow until it reaches the frog. I'm inserting the wire through the short tube at this point where I will fold it and, and then the tubing shrinks with heat. So here shrinking it tube down so that it will be, uh, so that it will fit snug around the wire. I take the end of the horse hair and I'm going to run it through the longer tube like so and then as it comes out the other end I'll take the, the two pieces of wire run them down. Now if you notice I have the head of the horse hair sticking out that way there once I get it the loop in place I'll be able to pull it snug from the other end. I'm still pulling it through the tubing and then I get it into place so that it looks like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat that so that the rubber tubing uh, shrinks because it's a shrink shrinkable tubing. You shrink it with heat. I'm using a hair dryer to cause the, the tubing to shrink. The tubing has, has shrunk around the horse hair and ready to be connected to the frog of the Arhu bow. 
On the other end of the bow, where the horse hair is loose, I'm going to, I'm using the Jinquin uh, method to hook the string to the bow. So I have the, the loop just like you would if, as if you was going to do the Jinquin. And then I'm going to take it and wrap it just like I would the Jinquin around. And when I finish, I run the string through the loop and pull the string through the knot to make it tight. Here is the frog where the horse hair connects to the frog through the rubber tubing that's been uh, shrunk down. Got the nut on there, looking pretty good. And then it, here it is running through the strings. And now if you notice the strings are a little loose, so with a little bit of heat, you can help the strings to tighten up. A little trick I learned using flame to tighten down the strings. So that's how I rebuilt my uh, old bow. I plan to use it for my next music get together. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.